Tanya Hoffman's fabulous. Tanya Hoffman's fabulous. Tanya Hoffman's fabulous, fabulous TV show. Welcome, everyone. I am so excited. We have our fabulous guest today, Ms. Judy Morris back. Yay, Judy, he's back in the house. <laughs> Yay. Hi. <laughs> so we're going to have another fabulous show. Thank you for joining us today. I am Tanya Hoffman, and this is my show, and I have a lot of fun. And it's about giving you the opportunity to have fun with us. So today we are talking more about energy and how to make it fabulous. You know, a lot of what I do um, for myself is putting around amazing energy around us, right? It's about connecting with people that you resonate with. If you're hanging around people that are all mopey and grumpy, guess what? You're more likely to be mopey and grumpy too. It is resonates because energy is that way and, and Miss Judy's going to tell us a lot more about that in just a minute but really look at who are you hanging around what kind of feeling do you have when you get together with your best friend I used to have a best friend and I say used to because I had to let her go because every time I was around her I felt exhausted and it was always her side, and it was always what she wanted to do. And I started realizing this isn't a friendship. <laughs> and I really wanted to create people around me that made me feel great and made me feel like I could accomplish the world. I could do whatever I wanted to do and that they would be encouraging me to do that instead of telling me like, oh, what do you want to do that for? Oh, that doesn't even make sense. Blah, 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 right? So look at who you're around. Even family, and I know it's hard to let family go, you know, because they're kind of stuck at your hip, but maybe you just need to distance yourself from somebody that, you know, really is always on you about that you can't do something. Or, you know, when I left high school, my father, I was like, what am I going to do now? What should I do, dad? And he was like, you're a girl. Just go get married and have babies and have someone support you. And I'm like, well, that doesn't really work for me. And that sounds boring. So <laughs> you have to really look at, you know, kind of distancing and, and not let him go forever. Just contacting them ever so often and know what you're in for. <laughs> Build up your power for that. So Judy, I'm so excited that you're back with us today. So tell us a little bit about you and, you know, your experiences and all. Oh, thank you, Tanya. I just was listening to what you were saying. I'm going, oh, that is so absolutely right on. And we start dealing with that, uh, that whole thing from the time we're born until we come up. So, you know, how people are around us as very small children really form uh, inform us and how we are going to relate to the world because we we pretty much monkey see monkey do we do what we're, we're shown and uh and i myself i had a lot of um i had some really interesting people it's in, impacting my life as i was growing up there was a kind of mystical magical wonderfulness of my grandmothers and they were they were really really lovely both both women were just phenomenal and they lived a long time and they had very healthy healthy good lives and so they they uh, taught me a way of relating to life that really did serve me later on when I got into my teen years and and life unfolded in some pretty um, distressing ways but I had I had some platform with which to to handle it, and I what is the, I really saw there was just so much pain and suffering in the world. There were so many people that were really unhappy, and I get around them, and it was like really hard to 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 bring them up. And so I became more of a mentor and a kind of a coach. And I, later on, I did counseling and coaching and and consulting. And then I got into feng shui, which that's where I learned about the 
you know, the different the different kinds of energies that are in our environment, in our home. And so we could really uh, make things better by shifting things in the house. But I then discovered that when I walked into any place, but even if I walked home where my sanctuary was and I had the feng shui set up, if I was depressed, I'd get more depressed. If I was happy, I'd get happier. Uh, so whatever my moods and emotions were, were actually being enhanced by the environment that I was in. And I, so I took it to my, um, my teacher, my feng shui teacher, and I said, so what's going on here? And he laughed. He says, well, the chi, that's, a, that's the Chinese word for energies. He says, the chi is always referencing you. So if you are obsessing on a thought, then it will bring that thought to fruition as much as possible as it can in that in that environment. So if I walk in really, really uh, distressed about a problem, guess what I get more of? The problem, not the solution. So I was really interested in, okay, well, how do I manage my moods then? And how do I, but authentically, so you couldn't just put a positive face on. I had to really have it from inside. And don't you find that too for, you know, just the people that you come in contact with, even on a daily basis. I know with my children, you know, I didn't realize until one day my son was always complaining about how his back hurt or, you know, he had a headache and he was like seven. And I'm like, how could you have a backache? And, and I realized it's my words that I was using right? I was being kind of in that negative space of, oh, I'm getting older, you know, and he just transformed it to himself. I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I've got to stop complaining all the time around him. <laughs> he was like absorbing what I had issues going on. <laughs> yeah. So it's just, it's like contagious. It's, it's just like passing a virus back and forth, you know, and like, whoa. So I don't want that. I want it to, I want life to be happier and happier. And I had done so much transformational work and spiritual work and lots of meditation and, you know, fasting and all that kind of stuff and really looking for enlightenment and looking for ways to, I have four children and they have, you know, they have their lives. They're all adults now and I have grandchildren and great grandchildren. So I really wanted to give them a legacy of, of, a, of a higher, of a higher quality of life that didn't rely on how much money you had or what kind of house you lived in, but what was inside that what was inside of them was just there. They could, they could withstand being wealthy or not. It didn't matter. You know, they could really, <laughs> they could really have be here fulfilling their purposes. And uh, so that's, that, that got me even more interested. There was some real turn of events for me as I, as I continued on with the feng shui and I really, uh, I excelled very quickly and I was, um, you know, so I'm out there and I'm doing some really, really interesting kind of work, like cleaning up after hurricanes and really moving those energies around and getting that out of the, out of the environment and, uh, and having people rebuild their homes in a, in a very, very good feng shui way. Yet, and yet they, there was still this thing about, well, how, how do we, impact the inside the feng shui inside of us how do we the internal how do we do that even more powerfully and so i had lots of tips and techniques which were useful they're good i you know power of positive thinking and all of all of those things i you know really working with so many of the high level people in the transformational world but it wasn't enough i and i got so sick that i was actually dying oh. And I, um, I, I made a, I moved from Houston to the Austin, Texas area, and I did all the things. I was really, I brought my feng shui teacher in, and he and his wife, and they came multiple times to to teach here, and uh, you know, and he and he helped me with my own environment. So I had like one of the top guys in the world with that, and then I was seeing all these doctors that were really, really great, and uh, you know. A, a, a fortune of money later. <laughs> what I got was that we can't fix it. We know what's going to 
you know, take you out. We know why, why you're going to die, but we don't know why all of that is, it, we can't, we can't sort it out. And so I had some really lovely uh, people in my life who, who uh, gently <clears throat> said to me, there's this energy doctor. And I went, okay. And so they, they shared with me uh, about this, this, energy treatment and I'm the queen of energy stuff right so but I like I, I but I got so excited I went there I know that because I knew there was something much deeper than what I had you know I had bits and pieces from different technologies but I didn't have this you know this at the the the, the parent of it and so I met Dr. Morgan and I had an individual treatment with him and I felt like he reached into, this is a dramatic statement. Can I have a dramatic statement here? But I really felt like he reached into the grave and pulled me out. Wow. I had 10 months to live and that was over 10 years ago. And I'm obviously not dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not on my way out. I'm on my way up. And so there, that's where I found the, the, the parent, I was, I'll call it the parent energy or the parent and the parent system from which all of these wonderful the acupuncture and tai chi and qigong and feng shui and many of our philosophies and so forth come from this system and for the first time in recorded history this has been made available to ordinary people like us to regular folks to thus those of us out here in the world not just the the core leaders of the major country that was in charge of all of that. So it's really exciting times that we live in. And now when I walk in my house, my the energy in my house is giving me joy and pleasure and vitality and health and the ability to sleep, to rest, no longer do I have, you know, days of and nights and night after night of insomnia. Mm -hmm. uh, my adrenals work. My whole body is, you know, functioning at at a very very high level for the stage of life that I'm in. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, I wasn't this vital when I was young. So <laughs> like really young. And and that's that's exciting. So that's my message. I I really work with. Uh, you know, all my clients, I make sure that they know that there's also the, the system from which this beautiful feng shui comes from. Uh, we can have that for the rest of our bodies and our lives. And so we get that internal, um, our internal set point gets reset to what it was when, when we were born and we were connected to this, uh, this beautiful energy that connects us to life force. So we have this, yes, and it it supports our spiritual selves. Nice. It support whatever our religion is. It doesn't matter at all. It's well supported by this, uh, and and it supports us in what we really, really want to accomplish in life. So when we're the people, when they see us come, and they're like smiling and happy, and they get smiling and happy. So. Their, their negativity doesn't rub off on them. Our positive energy rubs off on them. So we right. uplift everything and everybody. And isn't that what we want anyway? I know it's what I wanted, you know. And, and I even, you know, did an experiment with myself back in 2005, 2006 or so. Is, you know, I was networking, going to meet all these fabulous people, you know. and But I would go in and I would be quiet and, Oh, hi, how are you? Tell me about you. You know, very low energy, um, not bubbly and perky and, and all of that. Because I thought I had to be professional. I thought I had to do things a certain way. I had to carry myself a certain way, you know, for people to take me seriously, whatever that means, right? And so I did an experiment because I there was just not enough reaction. And so I thought, okay, well, let's just amp up the positivity and the energy and just be who I am, right? And so I came in, I'm like, hi, and you know, I introduced myself, hello everyone, you know, and and I took on me. 
instead of trying to take on somebody else. And then I constantly, and this is one of the things I just love doing anyways, is empowering others, inspiring others, telling them how fabulous they are, you know, because they really are anyways. And it just, that energy would flow when I would walk in and people then started gravitating to me and started referring people to me. Hey, you need to know Tanya. Oh, you need to know Tanya, you know? And I was like, wow, this thing is really working. And it was all from that mindset of be yourself and then allow positive things because a lot of times we don't even know what we're saying you know I started paying attention to my words and I couldn't believe how negative they were and so I started using different words and stopped focusing on the negative things you know yeah yeah so we get to focus on what's really working in life and uh, with the with the more you learn energy institute and the programs that that they have there there are uh, Dr. Morgan does these group energy treatments, which are in the form of a lecture. So he's up there and he's had the topic and he's talking and he is, you know, really, but he's giving us this connection to this energy mm -hmm. and these uh, specific, uh, it, it, there's, it's just the whole program that he set up. So there are people that are uh, actually designated facilitators. So, so they facilitate the flow of energy for people and you get to talk to them every week and, and uh, and but there are calls every day that you can get on sometimes twice a day. And that's what you do is you share what's working and the energy just builds and builds and builds. And so I get on those calls and I'm just writing down what it is that I'm going to use this energy for over and over and over, you know, like, OK, the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. And so then I, my family got engaged in it and they're you know, really using it and watching their careers just go and seeing their moods be uplifted. And, and uh, one of one of my daughters has, uh, uh, she is a counselor. So she's, and she goes out and she's really an advocate for children. And that's a pretty tough job. And she's, you know, like one of the, one of the voices in Texas that says, you know, how, how these kids are going to be dealt with. And, and, Get, get themselves really in a good place where they have a chance in life. So she's one of one of one of those advocates for children that is that's amazing. And so she uses these vibrations to really have that go so much more. So she doesn't get off into the depression and the overwhelm of you know of what's you know how people are you know getting beat up out there. And yeah. and uh, so and all my kids, I could go each one of them in my, you know, in my, I have some adult grandchildren, they're all, and they're all engaging in ways that are really uplifting and making a difference and in, in all their different fields, in all their different areas, you know, whether they're parenting or whether they're, you know, in the criminal justice system working, you know, that kind yes. of, it's really awesome. Well, and, you know, when you're looking at energy anyways, you know, one of the shocking things is I always thought I was kind of positive, but I started really listening to how often I think of negative things and how often I said something negative, even if, you know, oh, how are you doing, Tanya? Oh, well, you know, I did this and this is happening. You know, they aren't asking you to tell them wow stories they want to hear something great you know <laughs> right. and you know a lot of times people are like yeah but that's not being you know real and I'm like no you're just not focusing on the bad things that are happening in your life if you're saying that only bad things are happening to you that's because just like you said it's because that's what you're attracting you're attracting only the bad so when I started focusing on what was good it was amazing how good things started happening yeah. You know, even like the simple thing, one of the things that would always catch me is when I was filling up my gas, you know, in my car and, um, I would be at the gas tank. And, and of course this is when like gas was $4 a gallon, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Putting it in, I feel it is so expensive. And I thought, well, what if I switched my mindset and I started going, Oh my gosh, I got to go meet so many people and make sales and help people and go to the networking groups and do all these things and provide food for my family and housing. You know, I got to do all this stuff with this gallon of gas. And guess what? I get to do it all over again with this new gallon of gas. 
And now every time I go fill up the tank, it's like, yippee, I get to fill up the tank again. Because now it's a positive part of my life instead of focusing on the negative part, right? So even something simple like that, you know, do you have like a little thing that you do all the time that you're like, this really made a big difference? I have, um, I have, I have a statement that I that I make. It's a, it's actually a goal of mine that I am a person who joyfully has relationships be win win in all circumstances every day. And so that's something I've taken on. That's that's a. Uh, Can you say that again? Yeah, I am a person who joyfully has relationships be win-win in all circumstances every day. Ooh, I love my, that. My big mission in life is world peace. That's what it's always been. That's what it continues to be. And fighting for it didn't work. And, you know, you know, all the awareness is raising the awareness that, you know, there's trouble out there that we have the internet to give that to us. And tell them, <laughs> we don't need that. So, so it's like, okay, it's how, how that's going to happen is if we, we take on this, uh, our birthright with this really, really way of living that we have life be win-win, that we have win-win conversations, that we have these, you know, it's just, it's just so much easier. I just don't have to get into the arguments anymore with people and I don't have to, I don't have to defend or pressure or any of that stuff. It's like, really, this is, this is I'm working I'm working with the you know with this energy and yeah I have to work just like everybody else I don't there's no magic bullet here but there is certainly a way of living that's congruent to who we want to be and who we really are and to having our environments suit that and and working with other people you know, working to have all the environments around us, like, you know, just simple things like keeping the trash picked up and putting the trash cans out of sight after the garbage man takes it away and picking up after the garbage man and being kind to the, to the neighbors and the kids and having, having fun, enjoying their joy. Yes. I love that. Simple walk in nature, just be, you know, be, be be present to it. I love to go sit in my on the grass, on the ground in my yard and just be on the you know, on the in the earth. And really I love looking up and seeing that beautiful moon in the sky. And a sunrise or a sunset just makes me so happy. It's just oh there's so much beauty and wonder and love and appreciation around us. And I notice that my neighbors, we're just, you know, we just have a friendly neighborhood. It's just lovely. There's some little something happens once in a while, but it just, we just keep the, we just have good feng shui. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think people can feel it. You know, when I met you, I was just like, I want coffee with this woman. She's so amazing, you know, and we had the best time sitting yeah. down and having lunch. It was so, we need to do that again really yeah, soon. We do really <laughs> soon. Yeah. I, I was thinking about that the other day. It's like so much fun. And yeah. And so, you know, when we like minds, you know, we come together and there's that connection and then it gets to expand and be exponential uh, from that on and it just gets all over everybody so I you know as Dr. Morgan says world peace one person at a time yes and I totally believe that you know you change what that's what's so great about speaking right you yes. can go in to a group of 20 people that are all lovely and change you see that light bulb come on in someone's you know little eyes you just see it happen you yeah. know and yeah. you know that you just changed that person's life you know in some way I mean who gets to do that? We get to do that, you know? And if you're listening to this, you get to do that, you know? It is so exciting because just like Judy says, you really have the opportunity to change somebody's life. And that changes the world, you know? Because a lot of people, even for me, I meet a lot of people who have never been told that they're fabulous. And how sad is that? So it's kind of been my job. I feel it's like my job to remind people that they really are fabulous. You know? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, yeah exactly. And every one of us, we're all fabulous. Each person has wonderful gifts and enhancements. And, you know, when we come together in groups, it's just phenomenal. I, I'm so happy when I get to walk into a room and walk up to the front of the room and engage with everyone there on this heart and soul level, like really immediate, what's right here, right now, where we can have our lives be constantly growing and evolving with the universe instead of shrinking and going backwards, you know, what that, that opposing force. Uh, yeah. so we, don't, we don't have to buy into that. We really don't, no matter what our circumstances are. I've seen people that, wow, you know, I you wouldn't give them a, a, a chance for anything, and they are fabulous because they just they reached for the higher vibrations of life and so we're always at that choice and to get to be the messenger of something that wonderful Love is, it. i think one of the greatest gifts on the planet so yes i have the feng shui and yes i have the energy and yes i have a message and i came back from a certain not pretty demise to a life that is fulfilling and rewarding. And I've worked, you know, I worked hard to get there, but what I really got was surrendering a whole lot of uh, programming that I didn't need. You know, we, we, I grew up in a culture of trauma sharing. That's how you fit in and you better fit in. And you know, oh yeah. Oh, oh well you think you have it bad you yeah. should see what happened to me today you know right, exactly I've totally yeah. been there i'm like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have to do it's that. called christmas time you know you're like sharing all of these and you're like wait a moment what are we doing why are we talking about this stuff are we through <laughs> with that we don't need to talk about my aunt anymore you know <laughs> right it's too fun <laughs> goodness well I know you have an amazing offer as always could you give that to everybody and how they can connect with you for it right exactly just uh, shoot me an email and I'll give you the link and everything to, to get it it's a it's an hour talk and and it's got feng shui uh, some good hot tips and tricks and so forth with the feng shui in there and uh, and also some other other uplifting uh, information it's it's just a gift. I just put it together, and I, people I tried it out on my family. You know, that's my greatest audience, and they liked it. So, <laughs> so I'm giving this away to all of you. And actually, it's a part of a talk that I was uh, paid a substantial amount of money to deliver to a, a couple of groups of people. So it's free nice. for you guys. Nice. And how do they get the hold of you? Uh, get me at uh, Judy at F src.net that's uh, feng shui research center.net so fsrc.net judy at, and uh, another way to get me is judy at energyforsuccess.org and those are two uh two good email addresses and there's websites attached to both of those so energyforsuccess.org will get you some videos and really uh lovely intra uh interesting Stuff that people uh, that Dr. Morgan has actually said he would give that as a gift to people. So, okay. so not only are you getting a gift from Judy, you're getting a gift from one of her, you know, from her top teacher in the world. Perfect. All right, everybody. So take advantage of Judy's offer because who wouldn't want that? Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to go listen and um, get in touch with her. And if you're like, I just want to get to know Judy, there you go. You got her email address. So reach out and say hi to her and, you know, have a chat. You know, right. that's what I love doing. I'm sure she does too. Right, Judy? <laughs> that's right. That's right. You can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and, and Twitter. I do daily chi tweets every day. So, uh, and I put them up on, I, I just discovered that I can put them on LinkedIn too. Oh. Nice. <laughs> well, fabulous. Well, thank y'all for joining us today. Remember to go to public speakers with an S association.com. Miss Judy is a member there. So you'll be able to book her to come and speak at your next event. And then also in June, 
the 14th through the 17th is our public speakers conference in San Antonio, Texas. So we would love for you to come out and join us at the event. We're going to have an amazing lineup of amazing people that we're going to give you real detailed information and train you on things you need to know in the speaking world. So we would love to see you there. We've got an early bird special running on right now, even a payment plan option. So go to public speakers with an s conference.com and we would love to have you and get to know you all right everybody thank you judy for joining us today we'll get thank you back you. on soon and everybody we will see you on the next show bye bye